What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today we got some live attacks in our latest CCL Elite War against Blaze JP. We're going to be watching some of the guys in Tribe doing live attacks. I'm going to be doing both my planning and my attacks. Let's go ahead and see if I can get the six pack again. Alright guys, so here's the first base we're going to be planning on today. So we're going to be doing Queen Charge Hogs attack. Tony came in, got the 95% with a Queen Charge Lalo. We're going to be trying to fix it up here. I'm going to be dropping my Queen right about here. She's going to walk down and around the base this way. There is a Tesla farm over here with, uh, I believe, three or four Teslas. Can't remember exactly how many. Going to be using a minion at 6 o'clock to try and help the Queen stay close to the wall. Uh, we want to use our King over here to walk this way inside the base to get the CC pool with a Wizard in behind the funnel. We are going to be trying to get the wall break in over here toward this uh, wizard tower here and then a second layer in on the eagle artillery so queen can go inside and get all this junk in here, clear out a good portion of the base. Then the plan is to be using hogs on the back end from this left side. I'm going to be sending in the warden with the royal champ behind the hogs here to get all this value, clean up wizards in behind. Hogs are going to wrap around this way, get the entire base hopefully. We're going to be sending in a late stone slammer to get some free defenses over here at 11 o'clock. And then just lots of wizards, maybe even a goblin in behind to uh, get the cleanup in time so that we don't time fail. I'm going to be bringing two rages because I think that's all I need for this one. Two freezes. I might use one for the queen charge, one for the hogs. Not sure yet. And then three heals that we'll be able to use on the hogs throughout the base with the royal champ ability on the back end. Should be able to clear through all the defenses here. Hopefully we'll be able to get the triple here. So that's the basic idea of this plan here. I'm going to go ahead and cook up the army and we'll be right back to give this a try. Alright guys, we got the army all trained up. Here it is. We're going to be bringing in 5 healers, <clears throat> 32 hogs, 8 wall breakers, 7 wizards for cleanup, 2 minions, one early for the funnel, the other one uh, to help queen kill the lava pups, a goblin and an archer for cleanup, 9 hogs in the CC. We're going to be using my own stone slammer. Uh, only 2 rages on this queen chart, so it's going to have to go perfect to plan if we want this to triple, because I don't have any extra rages for her. 3 heals for the hogs, so they should stay topped off on health the whole time. So let's go ahead and give this a try, see if it works. And we are in. Alright. Make sure I switch this to a stone slammer. Get the queen going. Right there. Early healers, minion. The archer up there. Queen should walk around to the right. Minion should be popping the Tesla. She's going to get this AD before any healers die, which is nice. Now I'm going to get this King going. Wizard. I'm going to go ahead and use this test wall breaker there. Get the rest of these wall breakers going. Boom. Queen is in. This wall break might be a little weird. I'm going to go ahead and rage him up. King died. Queen's going to kill the king. Out comes the CC. Is my poison off? Oh, my poison was off, guys. Rip. I missed the witch. That's gonna suck. Queen still kills the witch. Okay, we're good. Queen still killed the witch. I'm gonna rage her up again. I might just freeze the enemy queen here. Let's get the hogs going. Gonna go ahead and get an early heal and a freeze here. Get some cleanup wizards going. Get the stone slammer going. Third hog there. Queen still has her ability. Gonna drop another heal. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the queen ability just for pathing here. I forgot about that Tesla at 12. I need Warden to get over these hogs. Perfect timing. 
Need something to path up to that Tesla or else this might be a time fail. It's looking like a time fail anyway, guys. Pop the road champ ability. We get a wizard over here. Come on now, come on now, time. Can we get it in time with the cleanup? It's gonna be really close. I think we might get it. Ooh, baby. Come on. Hell yeah, we're gonna get it. Who said it was gonna be a time fail? Nice. That's gonna be a triple there with the queen charge hogs. Perfect plan. Got a little close on time, but it's gonna end up working out. We're gonna go ahead and wait for the next live. All right, guys, we got a live attack here. Elliot is in fresh attack on number three here. Let's see what he's bringing in today. This is an interesting looking ring base here. Looks like he did an early blimp here to pull the CC and make some uh, pathing for the rest of the attack here. He's going to be coming in with a Yeti Smash, bringing two Witches and seven Bowlers on this one, guys. Two jumps, three Rages, and a heal. It's going to be interesting to see exactly where he goes in. I'm guessing he's going to try to enter in on the Eagle Artillery section of the base over here. Eventually jump his way to the Town Hall. He's already dropping the Witches down to try and make a funnel. There is a single target Inferno here on the right side of the base. Had to pop his queen ability super early because it looks like the healer stayed on his warden and the queen is down already. Oof, unfortunate there. Queen dies super early. His king also gets targeted by the single target inferno. Not, not a good start here. That's right, we're going to see if he'll be able to make up for this. Come in, clutch, and get the three star. He already dropped both jumps down. He's going to use his road champ to try and make the rest of the funnel here. Hopefully she can get that inferno before it kills her. The single target Inferno might take her out. It is going to take her out there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Everything pushing in towards the bottom side of the base. He needs to get everything to path in toward the Town Hall. Not a great start, but he might be able to pick this up. Hold up. He's using the Warden ability over the Town Hall here. Everything pushing in, getting the Town Hall. Now they're splitting off. Some troops are going down. Some troops are going up. The healers are sticking with the yetis that are going up toward the top side of the base. Everything on the bottom side falling to that BK and the multi-target Inferno. Swag's a rage there because of that. Unfortunate. The tornado trap pulling his yetis into the corner of the base. Now they're trying to reroute, go back outside using the jump spell. Warden did get targeted by that expo. He's going to go down pretty soon. Those healers are staying with the top side group of yetis. Now they switch to the bottom yeti going for this Inferno Tower. Not looking great. Looks like it's going to be a decent percentage two-star. Just a little bit unfortunate there. His queen died super early because those healers stayed on the warden while his queen was trying to kill those ice golems. And then the road champ and the king died to that single target inferno. They both got picked off by that same inferno. Nice try there by Elliot. That one's going to fall short. We're going to go ahead and back out and wait for the next attack though. All right, guys, we've got another live attack here. Elliot is in another fresh attack here on base number 15. Let's see if he can get the triple here. Coming in with the warden walk yeti smash. He has a blimp activated right now. We're going to see if he ends up using a blimp or if he switches to something else. He has an ice golem and six bowlers. He's dropping his king to make the funnel over here. It looks like, if I had to guess, he wants the king to walk this way, the warden to make the funnel here, and he's going to enter on this side of the base, if I had to guess. We're going to see if that's what he wants to do here. Yes, indeed, he's dropping the jump. The king went the wrong way, though, so the funnel is not entirely made. The Yeti should be able to still go inside the base, though. I think that mortar's far enough away. Two tile gap here. They should go inside the base where he wants them to. As long as he gets that second jump down in time. Pops the Warden ability super early here. Needs to get that second jump down before everything goes outside the base. Let's see. He's dropping a Rage here. Dropping a Poison. Come on, Elliot. Drop that jump. He uses the Ice Golem and the Royal Champ from the right side of the base. They're going to take out the enemy Royal Champ and move over here toward this Inferno Tower. He does drop the jump after everything beats through a wall there. Interesting. Actually might help him, though, get even more value with that jump spell. He is saving his blimp here for the Town Hall on the back end. He's using a balloon to test for any seeking air mines. Now the blimp's going in for the Town Hall. <coughs> he doesn't have a rage for it, but the Yeti should be able to take it out still. Let's see if they do. Those Yeti mites do a lot of damage here. They are going to get the Town Hall. Everything pushing through. He still has some Yetis, the Queen and the Warden alive with the Queen ability. This is looking good. As long as he has time, I think, is his only issue. Does he have enough time to clean up the rest of the base here? Queen ability should be able to get through the rest of these defenses over on the right side of the base. Yetis are pushing through. They're getting stuck on some skellies, but they're moving through with the healers. 
Nothing's going to take them out, really. He might run into time problems if everything goes to the left here and nothing comes over to the right for these buildings right here. This might end up being a 96%. Hopefully he can get that Yeti to go to the right. No, he's going to keep going left, unfortunately. I think he needs to go ahead and pop Queen Ability here for time. He needs those archers to help with the cleanup. This is going to be close, guys. This is going to be really close. Hopefully he can get it here. It's just a race against the clock at this point. Still has the Queen ability. He's choosing not to use it. There he goes. He's going to use it on the storage here. 29 seconds. Burtis coming in with the $21 donation. How about that? Thank you, Burtis. Burtis OP. Healer's switching off to the Warden. I think this is going to be a time fill, guys. Really nice attack there by Elliot. Solid plan. Just didn't have anything path over to that right side of the base for the cleanup. Unfortunate there. This one's going to be a time fail. Should be able to clean this one up, though, if we repeat that, but save something for cleanup over there. Nice try there by Elliot. We're going to go ahead and back out and wait for the next attack. All right, guys, we got another live attack here. Hex is going in on number 22. Looks like he's coming in with the Yeti Bomb for this topside Inferno compartment. Right over here on the top side, coming in with the Yeti Bomb. Then I believe he's going to be doing a Queen Walk. Looks like over here on the 10 o'clock side... I'm guessing he's trying to walk her into the town hall compartment here. So he's going to use a baby dragon on the left to funnel her right inside here. Let's see if she's going to go in. There is a Tesla that pops. Can the baby dragon get that Tesla in time? It's going to be close. No, he does not. Hopefully Queen's going to step up for the scatter shot though. That'll help her path right in for the town hall. He's going to drop another baby dragon on the Tesla just to make sure she's going inside here. Ooh, she's wrapping around for this archer tower, and she's going to keep going outside. Unfortunate there. He was late with the baby dragon. She's going to keep wrapping around. Let's see if he can recover here, though, and get this three-star still. He's going to... Looks like he's going to use his king on this bottom side now. Having to adjust the plan on the fly. Going to probably send in the hybrid from this six o'clock side, so that way queen goes back in for the town hall here. That's the plan now. King making the funnel on the right side. He's going to go ahead and freeze that AD... And the Expo outcome, the Triple Ice Golem CC. That's going to stall up his troops for quite some time here. Giga Inferno activates. That's going to start hitting all his healers. He's going to have to pop the Warden ability here. Still one more Ice Golem that he has to chew through here. It's going to freeze him for a few more seconds. He's going to drop that poison on the enemy queen. His queen is now targeting the Town Hall. Warden needs to stay with the Miners and the Hogs if this has any chance of tripling. He still has the Royal Champ, which he drops on the right side of the base over there at 3 o'clock. She's going to get some value. Pulls a Skelly Trap, though, which is going to distract her for a while. No more heals, unfortunately, so this is looking like it's going to fall a little bit short. That Scattershot Inferno combo doing a lot of work to his miners here. Unfortunate here. I think this is going to get really close, but not going to be able to pull the triple. Oh, man, just a little bit unfortunate there with the pathing. If the Queen had gone in for the Town Hall... I'm guessing he was going to use his king on the top side and then uh, hybrid right in through this channel here if his queen had gone in for the town hall. So a little unfortunate with the pathing there. Nice try by Hex. That one's not going to work out though. We're going to go ahead and back out and wait for the next attack. Alright guys, we got another live attack here. Kirk is in. Fresh attack on number 20. Let's see what he's bringing in here today. Looks like he's doing a suey for the town hall with the queen into a mass dragon it looks like with two clone spells. Let's see how he's going to execute this one here. Queen is going to get that Town Hall with her ability. There is an Air Skelly that already popped. Out come three Ice Golems from the CC. This is a fresh attack here, so he he didn't even bring the poison, though. A little ballsy, but nice play. I respect it. Coming in with all dragons. No need to bring a poison. She is going to get locked onto that King. Take out a little bit of his HP. He's going to draw the Ice Golems to the top of the base with an Archer. And now he's coming in with what might be a Yeti Bomb here. Maybe an Electron. It is an Electron, and he did miss that Rage a little bit, unfortunate. One of the E-Dragons is going to go out for some trash. That Blimp hit a bunch of Sams early on. This Dragon is going to get the Inferno and the Scattershot there, though, which is kind of nice. They're, they are also going to set up some nice pathing here. Getting rid of all these defenses sets up the pathing, so now he can use the BK over here. And there's a channel for the Dragons, just like that, to go through. Let's see if it's going to be enough, though. He already invested a lot of spell space into those clones. Six spell space to get the double clone. Was it worth it? Not sure. We're going to have to see here in a second. Pops the Warden ability to evade the damage from those Seeking Air Mines and the Warden and the Queen damage here. He is getting hit by that Sweeper quite a bit. Kind of annoying, that Sweeper. Now the Dragons are going to take out that Sweeper, though. They're all pushing toward the top side of the base, most of them. Now they come back 
They're getting an ugly split now. Some of them going to the right inside Inferno, some to the top. He does have a Royal Champ here. Still has the Royal Champ, so this might work. Probably needed to use that Royal Champ earlier to help get this AD down. It's taken out of a lot of his dragons. The Ice Golems are coming back to his Royal Champ. Now he needs to pop her ability there to kill that AD. Now he pops the ability, kills all the defenses, guys. This might triple. Hold on, if he can get this Inferno and he has the time, I think this is going to work here. This is going to be a triple for Kirk. Still has a Wizard. Dragons are getting locked onto these Ice Golems. Two Dragons and a Baby Dragon with the Air Warden still alive. This is looking good. No more air targeting defenses. Wow, the Electrone did not get that much value, but this is still going to be a triple here by Kirk. Really nice job there with the Dragons on this base. Coming in clutch, getting the triple when we need it. Nice job, Kirk, with the Dragons. We're going to watch them do cleanup here. Finish off the rest of the base so we can see the three stars pop up on the screen. Take a look at the army comp again. Just enough time. He's going to have about 15 seconds to spare. Nice attack there by Lord Kirk. Let's see what army comp he had. He had a Valkyrie, 10 dragons, 7 balloons, 4 wall breakers for the Sui, 2 clone spells on that one. Nice attack there by Kirk. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats in this war. We're getting close to the end of the war here. We are 12 for 40, and they are 17 for 39, so we're down by five triples with not that many attacks to do. It's going to be hard to come back on this one, but let's see if we can do it. We still have another live attack to do. We'll be doing that in just a second. All right, guys, so here is the second base that I'm going to be hitting today. We're going to be hitting this with a Yeti Bomb Queen Charge Hybrid Attack. The plan on this one, I'm going to start off with about three loons over here. And then the Battle Blimp in between, actually I might just do two loons, two loons, and then the Battle Blimp uh, behind that to come over here and pop right here on the Inferno and the Scatter Shot. I want the Yeti Mites to get this Inferno, to get the Scatter Shot, to get the Wizard Tower, and to draw the enemy CC out. Then I'm going to be dropping my Queen over here at 6 o'clock. Ultimately I want her to walk to the left. Once the CC comes all the way over to her, I'm going to go ahead and drop the BK here on the left side of this Elixir Pump. So he's going to walk this way and then up and around and make the funnel on this right side. I'll probably give him a wizard over here just to help him out. Then I'm going to be using a loon and a baby dragon here to make the funnel for the queen. So that way she has nowhere to go but to the left. She's going to keep going this way. Knock out a lot of these buildings here. And then we're going to be coming in with the miners and the hogs right through this channel here. Just like this, with the Warden and the Royal Champ in behind. Now, from the previous replay, I know there is a Skelly Trap over here and two Skelly Traps up at 12, so I don't have to worry about any Skelly Traps until we get to the back side of the base. I'm probably going to use an early heal right around here for that Scattershot Bomb Tower, and then I'm going to pop Warden Ability in the core. Actually, I might just pop Warden Ability first. That might be the safer option. Pop Warden Ability first. Uh, then I'm going to heal probably in the core here and then use my second heal over here by the Town Hall, the Giga Inferno, and this Multi Inferno. Try to save my Royal Champ ability for as long as I can. And then uh, everything's going to collapse in on this back end Inferno Tower. Hopefully Queen can stay alive. I'm going to have two extra rages for her. She'll be able to walk around the whole base, kill the enemy king, get all these defenses. If she can stay alive all the way till the end and everything meets up on this 12 o'clock side, I think it should be a triple. So that's the plan on this one. I already have the army cooked up, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the army here, and then we're going to go ahead and try this. I do have the blimp with the two yetis and the valg, two freezes on this one. So I don't really have any plan for the freezes. I'm just going to kind of use them where needed on this one. Kind of flex freezes. Three rages, one's for the yeti bomb. Then we're going to have three loons, a baby dragon, five healers, three wizards. I don't really know if I need three wizards. I'm just going to be saving two of them for cleanup where needed. Uh, 13 hogs and 18 miners for the main push with the warden and the road champs. So that's the army comp. That's the plan. Let's go ahead and give this a try here. See if it works out. Here we go right here. Attack now. All right, let's get it. Make sure we switch to the battle blimp. We're going to be using... Two loons here. Battle blimp. Hopefully this blimp's going to make it all the way. Please make it all the way. Yes, perfect. Let's go ahead and get the queen down over here. They didn't get that wizard tower. That wizard tower is on 1 HP.
I'm gonna use one of my wizards here to help Queen kill the CC. And save the poison for the skellies on the back end. I'm gonna let the king go ahead and start making his funnel. Get a wizard down to help him. I'm gonna give Queen some time here to make the walk. Still got a minute 52 left. All right, let's go. And I'm getting a healer swap. Not what I anticipated. A little bit unfortunate there. So we're gonna go ahead and heal our rage and heal. I'm going to have to pop the Queen ability here pretty soon. I'm going to heal again in the core where the Town Hall is. I'm going to freeze this Town Hall. Queen might be able to get the King. No. Poison here. Freeze this Inferno. Royal Champ's going to be able to finish off the rest of the base, I think. Healers on the road, champ. OP. Look at that. Saving the poison for those skellies ended up working really well. That's going to be a triple there. Nice. We're going to end up getting the six pack. A little bit weird there getting the healer swap super early. We're going to have to take a look at that see what happened. But it's going to work out. We're going to get the triple here with the swag ability. I'm going to go ahead and pop it. That's going to be a triple. Awesome there. I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. We're going to get the triple there. That's going to put us up to, what is it, 13 for 41 to their 17 for 39. So we're still a little bit behind. They have a lot more triples than we do. Uh, it's going to be tough, but we still have about five hours left in the war. Hopefully we'll be able to come up with some good plans, come back, and uh, hopefully be able to win this war. But it's not looking good right now. We'll have to see, though. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. You got to see a bunch of live attacks there. Unfortunately, we did end up losing the war here by five triples to Blaze JP. Uh, they were using a different clan here because their main clan is in the clan war leagues at the moment. Uh, so 68 to 73, they did end up getting the victory over us. 18 triples to 23. Uh, we fought till the very end, had a nice comeback there at the end, got a bunch of triples. We ended up tying up the war at one point, 18 triples to 18 triples. But they still had five attacks left and they ended up going uh, or doing really well at the end, uh, tripling a bunch of bases right at the last minute. So... GG's uh, to Blaze JP. Nice job by them. You guys got to see a bunch of live attacks. You guys got to see both of my attacks where I was able to get the six pack again. So awesome job there. If you guys want to see these wars live, definitely uh, follow me on Twitch. And I'm going to start trying to uh, follow me on Twitter also. I'm going to tweet out and I'm going to post on YouTube in the community tab section when I'm going live on Twitch. So you guys should definitely come follow me on Twitch, hang out, talk to me live, ask me questions and see us perform live in these wars so that's going to do it for this video if you want to see more content like this definitely subscribe down below and i'll catch you guys in the next video